who are the greeters when you pass away? So when you pass away, you have specific souls that are going to come and meet you. Now, I've seen and heard a lot of deathbed visitations where when someone was just about ready to pass away, they say they've seen their mother that's pre-passed on or their father or their cousin or their brother or their sister. And it's usually a person that they had a good connection with. It's not going to be somebody that you had a, a, a terrible or abusive or bad connection with. Some of these greeters you have a soul contract with and your soul is connected to their soul and you might be in the same soul family. One or more can come through at a time and you've shared other lives with these people. You might even start to remember other lives that you've shared with these people. Sometimes these souls are transitioning just like you. Part of their contract may have very well been to wait for you. But waiting doesn't mean time because time does not exist on the other side. Souls choose when to reincarnate and some souls have to go to a resting place for healing. But it's always going to be somebody who was very special to you in this life. The souls that are in the resting place, they're like in a sleep-like dream and very much in peace. That's why sometimes the ones who are crossed over don't come through to see us or come through in a visitation dream. Some souls need this prolonged healing state because they may have a hard time dealing with their death. Sometimes fear or panic can stop a soul's transition, especially if they died unexpectedly or in a tragic way. Some souls unknowingly tie themselves and their energy to where their physical body had unalived. Many earthbound spirits that are trapped are a part of that energy. Sometimes they get trapped in this can't be happening to me consciousness. Those are souls that have not crossed into the light. But you know what you come for, you know your mission, and if you did not complete it, most likely you're going to come back and return to it. It truly is all about growing our consciousness and learning. If you stay in the same unlearned lessons in the same environment, you won't change or grow. And that's what it's all about. Have you guys had anybody tell you that they had a deathbed visitation? Because I know this happened with my dad and my grandmother. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know. Love and light.